where is that freaking voice messages app? Ah. Hey y'all, how's it going? Rich here, and let's talk about what's new with voice messages, voice messages, with voice messages in iOS 16. All right, so there's not really a lot that's new feature-wise, uh, but functionality-wise, there's there are some differences. So first of all, because there's now a dictate button in that uh, in the message composer you know bubble there. You might be wondering, where do you find your voice messages? Well, it's now moved down below to this blue icon here with the voice messages app icon. Um, so it's an iMessage app. And that's pretty much it. You got a big <laughs> record button. Uh, you can go into like a full screen kindish view of the composer and then you can play your message, but you can't scrub through it, at least not in beta one. Um, and you also can't send the message when you're in this view. So when you make it back into that, the, the keyboard size view, now you can send it by using the regular send button. That, that's pretty much it. Yo, yo, almost forgot. You can also scrub voice messages now. That is new. Before you would have had to long press a voice message and then scrub it in kind of like what looks like the files app if you're playing an audio file. But now on the message itself, you can scrub. Sorry, totally forgot to say that while filming. Okay, back to the video. But it, it does lead me to wonder, is there more to come with this? So what I'm thinking is now that this is an iMessage app, it might be easier to add more features. Now, uh, why easier? Well, the iMessage apps, they're expandable, right? So you have this small view, which could maybe in the future have that send button in there, though arguably that might be a redundant feature, but at least there could be another button added to this view besides just record, like maybe a trim button, which would then open up like a timeline for you to scrub through and maybe shorten the message or maybe even cut parts out of it. But then you could go into the full screen view and then you could maybe have more features. Now, Memojis, they're very fun. I, you know, my, my parents have Memojis. I have Memojis, my friends have Memojis. And then Gen Z, I'm borderline Gen Z, borderline millennial, right? But you know, people younger than me, they probably have Memojis because that's fun. But what if there were now voice effects? In GarageBand, you have things like the robot voice, the under the water voice, um, a narrator's voice, like all those like auto-tune effects, right? What if a mini version of that or a revamped version of that was added to the now new voice message app? I think that would be really cool. Then obviously though, besides just you know having fun features, some other functional ones, I don't know if this is something that could be done post, but you know how when you're in a FaceTime or phone call, you can you know go into control center and then change the sound effect of how the audio is being recorded. So maybe in post on a voice message, you could change your recording from a wide spectrum to an isolated or just a regular voice recording. I don't know, just I feel like having the voice message app adds an easier way for Apple to implement some of these features without having to introduce people to a new design, right? You get rid of people having to learn a new UI. Um, there's more space in an iMessage app than there is in the cramped bubble that already has a lot of features as, as it is. You've seen them change things with how dictation works. Rather than not being able to use your keyboard, you can about now use both simultaneously. So that's that's a very big functionality change. So I, I think voice messages are just around the corner. Now, when would features like this come? My bet is it's not gonna come with the first release of iOS 16, just because they, they didn't talk about it at all and nothing is mentioned about voice messages receiving features on their um, iOS preview web page, right? But maybe in an iOS dot release, I would say features like this would be considered big. Yes, sure, they're just voice messages. But I, I really do think that a lot of people, it would gain some traction, at least for, you know, the week when it's new, a lot of people would be really into it. They've done this before, right? We got the pointer for iPad OS on a dot release. You would think that's something they mentioned in WWDC, but they didn't. It was a dot release, so who knows? 
Either way, that's my take on the new voice message features and hopeful wishes for what is to come on iOS 16 voice messages. Let me know down in the comments what you think will happen and why did they make this change. And yeah, if you like this video and you want more like it, hit subscribe, check out my other iOS 16 slash WWDC videos I've made, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Rich Aesthetic, out.